Good morning everyone. This is the second video of your second chapter. In the previous video, we learned about operating system, desktop, taskbar and customizing taskbar. In today's video, we will learn about selecting and deselecting icons, arranging icons on desktop, changing the wallpaper and setting a screen saver. I will show you all these things one by one practically. So let's start with selecting and deselecting icons. As you all know this is your desktop and these are the icons. So to select any particular icon on the desktop we just click the left button of the mouse and the icon gets selected and to select multiple icons on the desktop there are two methods so first of all let's see the first method that is to select adjacent icons so to select adjacent icons first of all we will click on the first icon and then we will click the shift key from the keyboard and then click on the last icon see all the icons will get selected in a sequence and the second method to select multiple icons is if we have to select non adjacent icons then we will click on the first icon and then we will click CTRL button from the keyboard and then click on the icon that we have to select see all these selected icons are not in a sequence and to deselect icon we have to just bring our mouse pointer in this free space and click the left button and all these icons get deselected just now you have learned selecting and deselecting icons now we will see arranging icons on the desktop as you all can see the desktop is looking so messy here because all the icons are scattered here and there so we need to arrange these icons now so to arrange these icons we click the right button from the mouse and in this we select view button then this sub menu opens in this sub menu we will click on auto arrange icons and as you all can see the icons have got arranged and we can also increase or decrease the size of icons in this view option see here all the options are given like large icons medium icons and small icons if you want to decrease the size of icons then you can select on small icons and the size of the icons will get reduced so we will keep medium size that is good to see now we will learn to change the wallpaper of the desktop to change the wallpaper we click the right button of the mouse in this free space anywhere and then we click on the personalize option after clicking on the personalize option we will get this window and from here we can select any of these pictures after selecting when we will close this window we will see that the wallpaper of the desktop has been changed so now we have learned selecting deselecting icons arranging icons on desktop changing the wallpaper and now at last we are going to learn setting of a screen saver so to set a screen saver on our computer we click the right button of the mouse and go to the personalize option and then this 
personalization window opens on your screen. Now we will search for a screen saver settings. So we will write here screen saver and we will go to change screen saver setting. After that this screen saver dialog box opens on your screen. As you all can see here, I have not activated any screen saver on my system, so it is showing none here. From this drop down list, you can select different types of screen savers like 3D text, blank, bubbles, my stiffy, photos, ribbons. I will select ribbons and show you all. After selecting ribbons and I go to the preview button to see how the screen saver will look. Now see this screen saver will look like this. This screen saver appears on your screen when you don't do any work on your computer. From the wait box present here, we can also set the time when our screen saver will get activated. And after selecting the desired screen saver, we click on apply button and then on the OK button. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you all have understood all these topics that I covered today.